everybody, this is Teacup Asian here, and I bring to you Head to Full Boyfriend, number six. So we left off where uh, Naneki basically told us to don't bring him home and just leave the key behind so he locks, so he could lock up the library. So uh, let's continue this game. Ah, uh, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover uh, before finals. And so I sat studying in the library, while one by one the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. Oh, for a second there I thought it was supposed to be him talking. <laughs> okay. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you sat down next to me, Naneki. Nageki. I have been saying his name wrong right into the intro. Whoops! I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. I'm gonna move this, move this thing over a little bit just so I could talk to it much better. No! Talk away! Please! I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss McBurdy. Oh, you're the only one who didn't ignore me. Oh god, I, I swear, if this is gonna be a, like a huge sob fest right here, I'm gonna be really mad. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. Okay. That's... that's terrible! Nagiki, that's awful! Which class are you in? I'll talk to you... to our teacher! I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, Kohan. I really wonder what's wrong with him. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're... not? Okay, why? Okay, now I'm really, really curious. I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Oh god, I really want to know. Tell me your secrets. It's paining me so hard. Better than this? Then what is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things, sometimes, but it's still not enough. Oh god, please tell me what's wrong with you. It's- Everybody keeps on telling me that yours is a sad ending or something like that. I am in pain and in curiosity on who you are and what you are. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss McBurdy, I think I... I think I'm... Oh god. McBurdy? You're here! You're here late! Ugh. Sir! The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own far too long backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? <gasps> Oh shit! I am right! I am so fucking right! He's a dead bird! Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not a. Huh? Nigga, he's gone. He's a fucking dead bird. Oh my god. I- I'm totally right, am I? I think I'm right. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? I swear to god, I am so right. We got our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but test. My buddy! I'm gonna read these midterm things because apparently I was- Like, apparently after going to the library so often, I- Like, my grades upped a lot and I wanna see what he- 
he has to say about my grades. Sir! You're getting better, keep it up! Yes, sir! Okay, see, totally. My grades are going up, it's great! Oh god, it's all windy and cloudy and whatnot and blue. No, it's a nice purple tone to it. Which is probably blue. Purple blue. Anyway, closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing! It was clear when I left. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in the blizzard, I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Oh! Nikiki! A book under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait, un wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. Oh my god, Christmas music in my ears! This sounds sadder than it's supposed to be. <laughs> Whoops. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's mooring up to me in his own way. What are you reading? What are you reading? Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. <sighs> More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, yeah. I make the worst face. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep, I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been- Tim is a boy born weak, who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds- Kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I like to see the future. It would be nice being able to, uh, able to avoid getting in trouble. I wouldn't like it. No. The future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. And so we enjoyed the present, point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. I am going to be screaming my head off if he is actually a damn ghost. The sun, its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. I remember I can't pronounce that word. It's wonderful I pronounced it. It's the first day of New Year. Look like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. And here we go again. And we already know this part, where I basically said, Oh yeah, I'm still cold, every bird has winter plumage, I wish I had some, and also I want to buy an amulet. Oh, and then Rita comes to me and says, Oh, you should go to Fortune Teller, because, because why not? Because we have Fortune Teller next to the shrine thingy, I think he says. I like one for fulfillment in school. In art, school, let's go for school. Because might as well. I need luck for school too. Oh, I hope nobody heard that little bump. Oh, yeah, we already know. Yep, go, go get the fortune or emulate. Oh, here we go, Kazuki, Kazuki. Last time I don't think so. I seen him. Hmm. 
Miss Nanuki. Happy New Year. I think I already did. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune? He got a chicken, a bad omen. Bob White Blessing. I don't know what that is because I got a Java one. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, McBirdie. Or it's gonna end in tears because everybody told me it's gonna end in tears. And duh. Okay. Happy New Year, everyone! Uh, the vacation is hibernated and whatnot, and you're asleep already. Wake up, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Yeah, I know. Absolutely. Nothing to worry about. Okay, back to the library. <laughs> the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon! Yeah! I'm totally winning this singing contest of the pigeon song. And then locker room! Ligament time! Beans! Ligament time! Beans! Let's see. Okay, we're going to get some beans. We're going to get some beans. We're going to go for beans. Okay. Bean medley for erasers. Pricey. You know what? Let's quickly save here. So I can be sh assured that I got the right one. Eh. There we go. And one more time because I had a moment where it didn't work last time and it was upsetting. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get a uh, calm corn. Let's see what calm corn would do. Because it sounds nice. So I don't think so, it would be bad. Preparation is complete! The beans for the special somebody! Ah! Almost empty as always. And so unsurprisingly, the heat doesn't work well here, so the winter cold still stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular place in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nikiki should be... Oh! There you are, Nikiki! Sitting in the frigid corner, far from the... Mirror... Mirror... Effects of the heater, as expected. Please be... Quiet in the library! Okay, you somehow forgive my dreadful sin. I am a loud, rebunctious little... Girl. I was gonna say bird, but I remembered that was not a bird in the story. Urgh, it's cold here. Are you okay, Nikiki? I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss Birdie. He always has this, like, sad, like, song going on behind him all the time. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's ligament time, you know. Here! For me? Yep! You're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. God! He's gonna rip my heart to pieces, isn't he? Maybe he's never gotten Luke in time beans before. I hope he likes them. Like, seriously, I don't know if I got the right beans. Like, what beans are meant for who? Like, is, like, racer blend supposed to be for Oko-san? Is the bitter black beans supposed to be for Sequoia? Like, the country millets, is it supposed to be for Yorita? Ruita? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's gonna freak me out by the end of it. If it's like that's the one turning point of all this thing, is that ligamentine you have to give a specific one or else everybody dies. Let's keep on going. Lots of requests, requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, uh, sorting all these takes forever. I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. 
Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um. Miss McBurdy, be here after the other students have all left. Fujoshiro Nikiki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. Ooh. I think this is the first time he approached me. I wonder what it's all about. This is going to be sad, isn't it? Is he going to tell me something that's like really bad? Like he's a dead person? Bird. Dead bird. Nikiki? Are you here? Nikiki? Nikiki! Ver... Here. Nikiki! Hello, Miss Bird. McBirdie. You startled me! How long have you been standing here? There. From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I want to talk with you, Miss McBurdy. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nikiki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss McBurdy? Hmm? Let's go outside. <laughs> what? But he hates going outside. Come on. Oh, goodness gracious. You're going to hurt me. He stands up, walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. I am so scared. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said he wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways in the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nikki, what? No! No! What happened? No! He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a my Mac. As I thought, I can't leave. Oh dear lord! But what? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss McBurdy. You've probably noticed too. Why no one else talks to me? Oh God, this is the part that's going to shatter my heart. That's because they can't see you. Oh God, the music! Oh no! This is horrible! Why did it become this music? I'm... the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years, with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time... has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen it at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had no partner but myself for so long and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered. 
Why I can't leave? Please, tell me why. It, it's... I'm already having little speckles of tears in my eyes. Why? <gasps> I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meaninglessly, each day the same as last. Alone forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss McBurdy. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more for longer. Nick, Nick Eki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. Ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to back the time I... Was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And... Now it's over. Oh no, he's slowly fading too! <gasps> I think the clock's heads are going to stop soon. Nikki, <gasps> His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. I know! <gasps> Nikki, wait! <gasps> We've never talked th like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. <gasps> don't cry, Miss McBurdy. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. <laughs> but... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. <laughs> no, no, don't say it, Nikki. Die. As I filled, filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss McBurdy. I can't stop it now. Oh my god, he's almost gone. <laughs> but I still have so many things to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret? Thank you. I love you. Oh my god, I'm gonna wipe my eyes. Oh my god, I'm a mess. I'm a mess, mess, mess. I'm a dirty mess. <laughs> I don't like this. I hate this. I really hate this. Oh. Oh my god, I am so right about 
what happened to him. He is a ghost and everything. Because he wouldn't leave the freaking library and everything. And everybody doesn't notice him. And pretty much, we, it's a smack in the face when the teacher just told, like, told me, Oh, hey, you shouldn't be here all alone in the library. And he's, like, gone. Oh, my God. No, that, that was... Oh my god, I'm still in tears and stuff like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. But... Like... I, for some reason, like, at the beginning was, like, not expecting much and whatnot. I didn't even think that I would start crying. But God knows I was... I'm an emotional person, so it makes sense that I would cry. But, oh my goodness. Like, right to the end, he's just... It's... A low, like a slow sharing of my heart just happened. It's just heart after heart was thrown on the ground. Like my shelf full of heart is gone now just because of this scene. Oh my god, like <sighs> this hurts a lot. Like, oh my god. Anyway, I I have no words. I really have no words. This one, this one is actually really, really good. This is a really nice and beautiful art, like, root in this game. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this root, because I actually really do. Even though if I'm bawling, I have a runny nose, my eyes are in pain and want to cry out more water and whatnot, and my nose is really running. Oh, Jesus, I'm crying. I'm still crying. But, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Click like, comment below, tell me if you liked it, didn't like it, or you hate me so much that I chose this route instead of putting this to the last, because I, even though I promised everybody. So, uh, all in all, see you next time! Teacup Asian!